Well, we are about to start our new week on a very frigid note. We've actually got a snowstorm up in the Midwest, right off the Great Lakes, across Indiana, Illinois. Lots of snow and all that cooler air is associated with one big system, bringing us what's going to feel like an Arctic blast over the next few days. We've already got the clouds associated with that and the stronger winds ushering in here in Starkville. You can see on the live cam, we've had a bright blue sunny sky, but more and more clouds have built in over this afternoon. 54 right now, and we have winds out of the north bringing us in that continental cool air around eight miles per hour but those gusts are even stronger and gusty conditions is definitely the name of the game here it's one of those situations where we get to november and we say you know oh we're ready for the starbucks winter season and the hot coffee and you're gonna need it because these lows over the next few days are going to be below freezing which is going to cause us some widespread frost across the area another thing is just how cold it's going to be with the wind so continental dry cooler air is building in we're talking about wind speeds right now, 8 miles per hour in Starkville, 17 in Meridian, 16 in Tupelo and Memphis. But these wind gusts, just even stronger, almost 30 mile per hour wind gusts in Meridian, 17 in Starkville, 25 in Tupelo and Memphis. Very chilly, it's feeling even cooler than the 50s, and cold is definitely what we are talking about over the next two days, especially by this evening here around 9 p.m. We'll drop into those low 40s, even some of us in the upper 30s this evening. So bundling up by tonight, you're gonna want to have the coat, the jacket, uh, the gloves, the hat, anything you might need for colder conditions, definitely going to start needing it by tonight. But as you're waking up tomorrow morning, Watch as these blues just become such a bright color because this cold air is here. 26 as you're waking up for your Monday morning in Starkville. And then even by 10 a.m., only 38. So barely above the freezing point Monday morning. And even in through the day, only in the lower 40s by 2 p.m. And then watch this again. The brighter blues are back into the picture Monday night, 28. And as you're waking up Tuesday morning, only around 29 in Starkville, 26 in Tupelo. So these are some frigid temperatures. We haven't felt temperatures like this since early February of this year. So it's been a while. We have not felt this type of cold. Make sure you are watching anything, uh, your pets, your people. Keep them in mind. We, we want to make sure everybody's safe. This is some cold air. But luckily, where we are today is where we'll be by Tuesday. So we've got a long two days here of some cold weather. But luckily, we'll be around 56 by Tuesday afternoon and in the 50s for your Tuesday. So our freeze warning here in the purple and our freeze watch in the blue is only going to last through 8 a.m. Tuesday. So rough few days, but most of us here in our southern viewing area definitely going to be cold. And if you aren't in the freeze warning, it sure doesn't mean you aren't going to be cold. So that's why we have an alert day in effect for Monday and Tuesday. Widespread frost because we're talking about lows in the mid 20s. So chilly. Make sure you are definitely protecting any pants plants outside, covering those up, dripping your pipes, just making sure you're bundled up and taking care of yourself and your family as well as this is some of the coldest air we have been feeling. Monday, we're only up into the 40s, 28 tonight into tomorrow morning, 24 Monday into Tuesday morning for your Veterans Day, a little bit warmer, which is a nice treat there. And if you have any plans for Veterans Day, still going to want to bundle up, but not quite as cold as we go throughout the day for Tuesday. But watch this. We have a nice warming pattern with plenty of sunshine through the rest of the week.